Hi, my name is Lucia. I'm a technology consultant at Continuous Technologies. This is the 17th episode in the All Tricks Tips and Tricks series where we help your workflow reach its full potential. In this video, I'm going to be talking about exporting workflows. Sharing workflows can be a little bit difficult if you have a bunch of data sources connected to them. You want to make sure that when someone else is running your workflow, they have the correct path and they're using the correct data. So if I have something um, hard-coded to my computer saying it's in my folder, Lucia's folder, um, you know, three folders down, you can relative path to someone else in your organization that you know has the same path that you can scroll through. So just going and pathing that into the input data tool, you can do that and share the workflow. Another way is zipping dependencies together. So if you have a data set in one folder and workflows in another, you can path back to that, zip that up and send it out. Another way is exporting workflows as a package workflow. So going to options and then you're gonna to go to export workflow. And when this loads, um, it's gonna ask where I want that saved. And then it's showing the assets that are saved to this workflow as well. So here I have my dependencies. So I'm outputting a file in this workflow. But if I want to save this and all the inputs in this as well, if I had any inputs, then I would hit save. It's going to package everything together. And when someone else opens up this workflow that I can send to them, and it's gonna save as a YXDP file. When I save this to someone and they open it up on their computer, that data will be saved into that workflow and they can run it automatically. Now, something to note with this, if you have a bunch of data um, coming in and out of this workflow, be careful because when you zip it, it might be a really large file that you're not able to email. That's why I recommend doing the file path method that I talked about. So zipping everything in one um, structure and then sending it out. 